Hi friends, welcome back to Trini Kids TV or welcome if this is your first time. Hi and welcome to Circle Time. We start our Circle Time by singing our Good Morning song. So let's all sing together friends. Good morning, good morning, good morning, how are you? Good morning, good morning, it's nice to see you too. Good morning, good morning, good morning, how are you? Good morning, good morning, it's nice to see you too. And a very good morning to all of our friends that are watching. Now, do we know what day of the week it is today? Well, my friends, it's Cooking Friday. And we all love Cooking Friday, don't we? Today is Friday, today is Friday, all day long, all day long. It's a wonderful day to have fun in the kitchen with your mommy or your daddy or your granny or auntie or whoever is at home helping you out. Well, we all know it's Friday today, right? It's Friday. Yes, our cooking Friday. It's the last day of our school week and we are in the month of May. We are in the month of May. Yes. It's time to find out about the weather. Let's go. What's the weather like? What's the weather like? What's the weather like today, today? What's the weather like? What's the weather like? What's the weather like today? Well, is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it windy? Is it cloudy? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it windy? Is it cloudy? What's the weather like today? Now we can look outside those windows and see what kind of weather we are having today. Well, where Auntie is right now, it's a rainy day. Yes, but it's okay that it's a rainy day. We can do fun activities inside like cooking right so we're going to have fun today with our cooking activity let's find out about our color of the day our color of the day is the color pink how do we get pink friends well pink is one of those colors that you need to mix to get you get pink when you mix red and white together and you get pink can you think or find some things at home that might be pink? Bubblegum might be pink. Your favorite doll might be pink. Your sneakers might be pink. Yes, there are lots of pink things around. We just need to look carefully, right friends? Yes. So, let's talk about our shape of the day. Our shape of the day today is a hexagon. Do we know what a hexagon is? Well, it looks like this. And it's one of those unique shapes. It might not be as popular as maybe a circle or a square, but we can definitely find a hexagon if we look very carefully. You can see the hexagon on your stop sign or your traffic sign that you might have around your neighborhood and on the highways. All right, so the next time that you are out with your parents, look carefully and see if you can find a hexagon while you're driving down the road. Very good. Now, my friends, it's time for our number of the day. What's our number of the day? Our number of the day is the number two. Yes, our number of the day is the number two. What can we do to count to our number of the day? Well, we can shake our hands two times. Are you ready, friends? Let's go. And don't forget to count. All right, ready? One, two. 
two is our number of the day. Good job, friends. Give yourselves a hand. That was good handshaking. And don't forget, our number of the day is the number two. Good job, friends. Now it's time for our letter of the day. What do you think our letter of the day is? Well, take a look. Our letter of the day is the letter X. Yes, that's our letter for today. And I'm sure we can think of lots of words that start with our letter of the day. Right, friends? Take a look. Xylophone starts with the letter X. And there are some words that have X in them, like box and fox. X. Great. Now that we know our letter of the day, it brings us to our area of the day and don't we just love looking at all the areas in Trinidad and Tobago and very soon we'll be talking about areas around the Caribbean and around the world. Alright friends, now that we talked about our wonderful area of the day, it's time to get cooking on our Cooking Friday. Today we are going to be decorating some cookies with our emotions, okay? So we learned about the emotions this week and today we are going to create some emotion cookies. Now you can use some cookies that you already have at home or you might buy some in the parlor. You can buy the digestive biscuit or you can use cricks, whatever you have at home. We're going to use that and some icing sugar and we're going to get creative and make our emotion cookies. All right, friends, so join me for craft time. Let's get crafting. All right, friends, so today we're going to make our activity. We are going to make our emotions on a cookie. Now, what I have is I have some chairs. I have my digestive biscuit, and I also have some icing sugar that I had at home. So what I'm going to do is start by putting some of my icing onto my cookie. Now, you can use whatever cookie you have at home. It could be cracks, anything. So I had some icing left over from the last time we made a little cake. So I'm using that to make my emotion cookie. There we go. Next, I'm going to make the eyes, of course, by using my chairs. Let's take the purple. So I'm going to make my eyes and a lovely smiley face. And I'm going to actually mix my colors. Okay, so you can do this a couple times. How many cookies you want to use? And then we're making our smiley face using our chairs. All right. All right. So I decided to make another one using a different option like cricks. So if you have cricks at home, of course you can use cricks. And you don't have to use icing if you don't have icing you can just probably buy some chocolate and melt the chocolate and um, put it on anything you like to do and then you can just take your little cheers actually i'm going to use some chocolate chips all right so i have my chocolate chips here my tiny little chocolate chips and i'm going to just make a tiny little sad face with my chocolate chips
and there we go on this side face so you see you can use whatever you have at home and make um, your emotion cookies all right so enjoy this activity friends and i'll see you next time all right my friends i know you enjoyed your delicious emotions today and i'm so glad we talked about emotions for this entire week don't we know that emotions are so important yes and it's important to express your emotions all right because people can't read our minds they won't know how we feel so it's a good thing to practice and express or tell someone how you might be feeling all right my friends thank you so much for joining me today and i hope to see you next week and in the meantime you can take a look at all the wonderful videos on the channel don't forget to recommend us to a friend like share and subscribe and we'll see you next time friends bye